During Prime Minister Modi's visit to Paris on 14 July, France will seek orders for three additional Calvary-class submarines from India, that will provide a significant boost to the Indian Navy's underwater capabilities, and also prevent tidal docks and underutilized workforce at Mazagin Dock shipbuilders. India will have to enter into a new contract with the French firm Naval Group for three Calvary-class submarines, and reports indicate that the price quoted by the Naval Group for the new contract is much higher than the previously negotiated deal for six submarines, while the technology remains the same, with the option of DRDO-developed air-independent propulsion systems in the next phase. French firm Nexter has announced a new contract to provide 10 units of THL-20 remotely operated turrets to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, that is equipped with 20mm cannon. THL-20 turret serves as the main armament for the Rudra attack helicopter and Prachand light combat helicopter, and this ultralight turret is controlled by the pilot's helmet and the helicopter's optronic system, enabling precise targeting and engagement of targets at a maximum range of 2,000 meters. The DRDO has started work on developing an advanced variant of the smart anti-airfield weapon, that will have an increased range of 50% to hit deeper targets at 150 km. After completing its initial glide phase, the upgraded saw weapon will utilize its mini turbojet propulsion, that will enable it to extend its range and also readjust and defeat mobile as well as relocatable threats in all weather and day and night environments. The new variant will be deployable in strike missions using platforms such as the Su-30 aircraft equipped with quad launchers that are capable of carrying up to 16 missiles. The Border Security Force and ITBP will start evaluation of the Archer short-range unmanned aerial vehicle. With a maximum operational altitude of 22,000 feet and an endurance of up to 12 hours, the Archer can gather critical visual and thermal data for facilitating efficient detection and tracking of potential threats, and it can also be equipped with air-to-ground munitions weighing 5 kilograms, and can also be armed with air-to-surface missiles. China's Ministry of Commerce has imposed export controls on gallium, that could potentially rock the U.S. defense industry. China holds 85% of the world's gallium reserves, and China has announced that both these items won't be leaving the country without an official stamp of approval. This comes at a time, when the U.S. defense giants Raytheon and Northrop Grumman are on the brink of launching new Acer radar system with superior performance for integration on the F-A-18 and the F-35 stealth fighter jet of the U.S. Navy. The Druf Advanced Light Helicopter has received the Restricted Type Certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, and this prestigious certification signifies that HAL-built helicopters meet the stringent certification requirements set by the European Union. This achievement opens new avenues for HAL to explore potential partnerships, collaborations and export opportunities in the European market, and other countries that recognize European Union Aviation Safety Agency certifications.